Good morning, Texas Fish Friends. It is really early in the morning. It's about 6.30 in the morning. I am going to go on a little adventure today and look for a fish that I've been wanting to go try to find. Uh, the nearest place I can really find it is way out in Plano, about a two-hour drive from here. Uh, I am with this. Took a look uh, for me at a spot that I had researched that looked like they should be there, and she was able to find uh, several. So, hopefully today will be successful, and they're a really cool little fish. I hope, to, hope you guys like it. Thank you. Yeah, two hours is not that big a deal. You know, we go looking for reptiles and stuff. It might be a whole weekend. Going clear out to the Big Bend or down to Southeast Texas. You know, we don't. Oh yeah, much much cooler. This canopy helps. And they get big. Yeah, they do. I've seen them up to about four is what I have in my tank at home. So they top out at. Yeah, there's there's some nice big, uh, really big top minnows right there. Let me see if I can just catch one. These are what I was chasing around in the plexi forever. Oh, yeah. It was making me mad. Oh, this is kind of cool. <laughs> I mean, lost sight of the... There's the minnows. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's new though, but... He's here until we get a good rain. <laughs> it's yeah, trash, dude. Oh man, they got cabled off and everything. Yeah, they're serious. Where did those top minnows go? Oh, you found some? Oh, right here. Oh, right here in front of me. Can you chase them back through you? I don't see anything in there. But... They are hard to see. See in and there. super fast. They, I, I don't know if we have uh they remind me of like a darter though. Quick. Yeah, and kind of darty. <laughs> and they Hop. Plant. Okay, I did catch something kind of neat. All right, these are top minnows. Black striped top minnows. Let's wash one off. So, very cool little fish. Not much stripe on that guy. Let's see if we can get on. There's, there's much better examples. Very cool little fish. These are small ones. They get about like this, so it's kind of cool. I doubt if I can get it. It's so small. Ooh, we got something. What is this? Oh, that's a plane's killer. Okay, let's get it over here on the shore. This is a tiny, tiny baby. It's water in this thing. Oh, I'm be real careful. Because it'll get out of these holes. That is what we're looking for. It's a baby. Look at the little lines on his back. That's cool. Hopefully we can find some adults. Because that's a little small. They should grow really fast though. Okay, there's more. Oh yeah, I got a couple more. Sweet. Yeah, there's a couple more. These are just little juveniles. But that is so cool. Look at that. Oh man. Oh, I'm stoked. Oh man. How cool is that? Another one. There's a couple more. There's a bunch more. There's a lot. Whoa, whoa. 
Yeah, there's a whole school of them, what I saw. So. Yeah, those might be killies. See them? They yeah, yeah. You, right in the middle of it. Okay, you hold still. I'm going to flush them to you because downstream it's easier to keep a net open. Whenever I'm up here, I can't keep a net open. Let them go in. A lot of times they'll just go right into a net. Push it. Pull that net up. Anything? Oh, what's that? What'd I get? Uh, some kind of a. It's not killy. It was one of them damn minnow things. I may well I'll keep it to figure out what it is. Nothing else. Let's go over here and look at it better. It doesn't get away. Let's see. All right, let's see what we got. Good. Hmm. Shiner. That's what it is. Shiner? On the <laughs> bottom? <laughs> well, it was darting around. Uh, but yeah, the shiners will be in any part of the water. They don't care. So I am not sure. I'm going to keep that one. Maybe we can get a better uh, idea later. Once we, whatever they are. I think that's what you were seeing in there. I think it's going to be one of those common that's fish. Cool. What? Shiner is just a general term. It's like saying Nerodia. Oh. <laughs> you know? It's multiple species. It's a shiner of some sort. That I'm about 90% sure of. So, yeah, cool. Oh wow, we'll see some bluegill. Oh wow, check this out. <laughs> like three sunfish? A couple different species there. It's cool. I think that's a long ear, and I think that's a bluegill. That's a bluegill. Well, hey, thanks for joining me. I think we had a great success today. I got a couple adults and several juveniles, so it'll be fun to get these guys home, set up, and see how they act in an aquarium. Got to see how they act out here in the wild, which is kind of cool. I uh, can't beat that. I think coming out and getting fish and taking a few home, nothing wrong with that. You learn about where they live, and they seem to mean a little more to you if you've actually went out and caught them as opposed to just going to the store and buying them. You learn about you know what they, how they live, where they live, and you... If you do it right, you've done a lot of research and figured out exactly where they would be at, what kind of habitat they live in. So if you like this content, please like and subscribe.